that we can use logarithms to solve exponential equations and functions means that we can now solve for time in our common exponential or our bank problems. So here we have a bank problem. It's asking how long will it take an investment to double if the investment is placed into an account with an advertised annual interest rate of 4% which compounds monthly. Right away we know this is a bank problem. We have an advertised annual and we have compounding. So we use the equation a equals p times 1 plus r over n all to the n times t. Try to work through the rest of this question yourself first and then when you're ready resume the video and double check your answer. Well, we know t is in years. We also know that we're solving for t. We know the rate is a positive 0.04 compounds monthly. What we're not sure about is the initial amount and the final amount. All we know is that the final should be double the initial. Well, what you can actually do is plug in any value you want for the initial and you'll end up getting the same answer. Because this is exponential, no matter what value you plug in, it will take the same amount of time for that value to double. I'm going to go ahead for simplicity's sake, just say we're going to start with an initial of 100. So I want my final amount to be 200. I plug all of this in. I get 200 equals 100 times 1 plus 0 0.04 over 12 to the 12 times t. First step is to condense that everything that I have inside those parentheses. 0 0.04 divided by 12 ends up being 0 0.0033333 plus 1 gives me 1.003 repeating to the 12t. I then divide by 100. And this is why whatever value you pick will yield the same answer because when we divide our final value by our initial value we'll always end up with 2. And that's because we doubled the amount. So we get 2 equals 1.03 or sorry need another zero in there. 0, 033 to the 12t. Now here's the tricky part. We need to pull down that t. To do that, we want to use our logarithms. I'm going to take a log of both sides. Which gives me log of 2 equals 12 times t times log 1.0033. Thus, 12t equals log of 2 divided by log of 1.0033. And that is approximately, let's use our calculator magic here. Two oh eight point two nine. Now divide both sides by twelve, and t ends up being seventeen point three six. Thus, it will take seventeen point three six years for the amount to double in the account. Hopefully, that makes sense to you. One thing I do want to point out. This 208.29 tells us how many compounding periods we go through. So we'll go, we'll compound this account 208 times before we can double the amount in it. And that's why it takes, we have to divide that number by 12, since we compound 12 times in a year, to discover that it takes a little over 17 years for the amount in the account to double. 